Hello, my friends. Happy Friday. Welcome to episode 96 of Why Did I Buy This? This series started as a way to help my crafters find unique ways to use products that they own. It's also a great series for new crafters who are wondering what they need to be successful. My name is Lindsay. I am the team leader of Cloud9 Stampers and I have been a demonstrator 19 years. I love to craft. I love techniques and I love sharing them with you. Thank you so much for joining in. Please say hello in the comments. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Uh, we have lots of things to talk about today. Oh my gosh. Yesterday, our retiring list went live. So you're gonna wanna go to my online store and check out the retiring clearance, uh, what is it called? Last Chance, Last Chance products. Um, we, have, we have sales up to 50% off on some of our products. So you're gonna wanna go and check that out. Everything is only while supplies last. So for the best selection, you're going to want to shop early so that you can take advantage of that. Um, the other thing that ends at the end of the month is the we had a promotion on our Baby Boss, so the mini stamp and cut and emboss machine, so you'll want to take a look at that. And we also have the Waves, I'm looking over there because I actually have posters. Um, the Waves of the Ocean promotion is on until the end of May. Oh, Jennifer, are you sad about the retiring list? It's, it's a double-edged sword, you know, like we always hate to say goodbye to um, our favorite items, of course, but you know that they're making way for new good stuff too. I've seen a copy of our new annual catalog. You guys are gonna love it. There are five new in colors coming. There are lots of new stamp sets, a few new products. Yeah, lots of good things. If you want a copy of the catalog and you live in Canada, make sure you give me a personal message and I will make sure that you're on my mailing list. Anybody who's placed an order that's $60 or greater in the last six months automatically is going to receive a free copy in the mail from me, just as a thank you for ordering with me. So if you're one of those people, don't worry, you're on my list already. But if you're somebody who'd like a copy, let me know. Uh, yeah, some of this stuff, of course, Jennifer, some of this stuff makes you sad to see it go. I totally understand. So make sure you get those things in your collection before they say goodbye forever. Hello, Kathy. Good to see you. Um, yeah, I've got kind of like a, a do-over episode. Um, this is something we've talked about before, but I'm focusing very heavily on one technique this today. And, um, I wanted to draw attention to my blog. So if you don't know, I do have a blog. It's cloud9stampers.com. You can go there and see some of the blog hops that I've been in as well as um, you can kind of read about my history. Uh, it's like my resume basically. <laughs> I know, just go take a look. Leave me happy comments. I always love to know that people are taking a look at that stuff. But anyway, I'm in a blog hop this afternoon at two o'clock mountain time. And it's the Totally Techniques blog hop, and we are using clear block stamping, acrylic block stamping. So it got me very inspired to pull out my blocks and start playing with them as stamps. So I have a few projects to share with you today that are not in the blog hop. The blog hop will be something totally different, but you're gonna want to uh, check out both things. Now remember, the best compliment you can give me in this series is to share this video with your friends. So now is a good time. Go ahead and hit that share button. And I'm gonna do the awkward transition so you can see my hands. Are you ready? All right, great. let me get you clipped in here and zoom in just like so. One more little, there. Do you guys like my stamp? Yeah, there's my blog, cloud9stampers.com. So you'll wanna go check that out. Okay, so clear blocks. Clear blocks are what we use to mount our stamps onto. So let me just bring in one that you can see here. So here we've got a photopolymer stamp and this just peels right off and then you can reuse the block for other stamps. It's really nice that they're clear because you can see through them, especially with our photopolymer stamps. And then with our cling stamps, you can see that the label shows you what you're stamping on the other side. So really, really handy for stamping. There are a number of different sizes and in our catalogs, it actually shows you what size block you need. So let me just bring in our mini catalog here for a sec. And I'm gonna show you this one. Okay, so here we've got a stamp set called 
in the moment. And if you look below, it gives you the description, six cling stamps, and then it gives you the suggested clear blocks of C and D. So if you're wondering how you know which one's which, is if you look on the side of your block, you can see that this is a C block. I don't know how well you can see it in the video, but it says C on the edge of it. And then this one here is the D block. So those are the two that they recommend. Okay, so these are just a, a few of the collection. There's several more, but I just wanted to show you all the different sizes and shapes. If you're on a limited budget, what you'll wanna do is grab some bigger blocks because smaller stamps can go onto bigger blocks. So for example, I've got these little birds here and say I only had one block, I could use it on the bigger block and I, I could also just stick it in the corner so I can use that to ink it up and have a little bit more control. But as you start stamping more and more, you're probably going to want to have more blocks in your collection. It also, I know from asking you guys questions on my Facebook page, that uh, very few of you like to clean up afterwards. So the more blocks you have, the more projects you can have on the go and it just makes it a little bit easier. Okay, I'm gonna get these out of the way and we're going to start with our first project. So I'm bringing in the B block. Um, in case you're wondering about cleaning, you can see I've kind of got like a little, I should have cleaned these before I went live, but you know, a girl's busy. You can use something like a baby wipe or a wet cloth or a, fi a microfiber cloth. You can stick them into, um, like hand wash them like you would your dishes with some dish soap. I've heard of people putting them, them in the dishwasher. I personally haven't just cause I don't want to have any scratching or anything happen, but um, it, it's really easy to just wipe them off. Okay, I'm bringing in a piece of basic white cardstock and I'm bringing in, <coughs> excuse me, the polished pink ink. So polished pink, I believe is one of our retiring in colors. The 2020 to 2022 collection is um, retiring. So you're going to want to pay attention to that and make sure you've got the ink refills and the cardstock that you want to be able to uh, continue to use those colors as long as you'd like to. Now, all I've done is used my block like a stamp. I'm bringing in some alcohol and I'm giving it a couple little sprays and I'm just going to stamp off the edge of the page and then we're going to repeat. So I'm just going to keep adding. And if you have a little bit too much alcohol, make sure you just wipe it off so you don't stick it into your ink pad. I don't know that it would do too much, but I don't wanna lead you astray. So we've done a few in a row like that. And now we're going to, oh, polished pink goes away in 2023. Okay, so it's the other collection that goes away. I see, gotcha. Okay, so now I'm going to do another layer and another spritz. So you can see there's not an exact science to this. I'm literally just kind of lining it up, eyeballing it as I go. And just going off the edge of the page. Okay, and we're gonna do one more row like this. So I'm lining it up kind of in the middle. Isn't that fun? Like it creates just such a cool looking background. It has sort of the look of bricks, you know, where the bricks aren't uniform on the outside. There you go. So now we've got a little brick wall um, background. Now you guys know me, I love a good splatter. So I'm just bringing in my light basic black marker and just gently on the, the lid, I'm just going to flick it onto the background. So we get that beautiful splatter happening. And then we're going to bring in another piece of white. And what I wanted to do here, I'm bringing in a bigger block this time. I'm going to use a D block. D and E are two of my favorite blocks because they're kind of big enough where they fit almost all of our stamps. I'm going to give a couple of sprays, really get it wet this time, and I'm going to stick that onto the paper like that. Now the reason I'm doing this is I'm actually cheating the system a little bit. I want to make my balloon coordinate with the um, background that we've created and I'm bringing in the stamps at Mischievous Mice. So if you're like, hey, where'd that come from? This stamp set is one of our host reward stamps. So this can only be used if you have Stampin' Rewards to redeem 
and it is done as a subsidized offer. So it is um, less money than if we were to able to purchase it in the catalog, but you are also not able to purchase it just on a regular order. Does that make sense? But look at how cute this little mouse is. So we're gonna bring that stamp in. I have my Memento Black ink, and I'm just going to ink up the balloon part of it. Now I'm going to stamp that on top of that. So now you can see it has that helium balloon kind of look, right? Looks like light is sort of shining off of it. Isn't that fun? Okay, and then, oh yeah, we're not done. I brought in my Shimmery Crystal Effects. Gosh, I love this stuff. And I'm just, this side of the paper I'm not using, I'm going to be fussy cutting this out. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that glue there. And then I'm bringing in a, an old aqua painter and I'm going to just squeeze a little bit of water in with my Shimmery Crystal Effects. And I'm gonna paint that over top of the balloon. So, <clears throat> So what I'm trying to do is create the feeling of a shiny balloon. So let's see how well that shows up in the video. Can you get, oh yeah, look at that, right? So cool. Then you're gonna wanna make sure that you clean the end of the brush so it doesn't get um, dried out as a gluey brush end. We wanna make sure we can still keep using it as an aqua painter. Okay, let me show you the finished project. So here we have our cute little mouse with our shiny balloon that we've done the background with the clear block. So I've used my new naturals collection, naturals collection, right? Um, all of the different tones of the neutral colors. And that is how I colored my little mouse. And then here you can see is our shiny balloon with that very cool clear block background, right? Fun. Thanks guys. Okay, let's move on to the next project. So the next one is really, really fun to play with as well. So for the clear block side of things, I'm going to bring in a piece of basic white cardstock again. This time I'm using the eye block. The eye block is a really excellent um, block for, make, using ba for making backgrounds because it's larger than our standard card front size. And I'm going to bring in um, a couple of colors. So the first time I do this, I'm going to use um, Misty Moonlight. That is one of our retiring colors. I know that because I'm very much going to miss Misty Moonlight. And I'm also going to bring in Pacific Point. So I'm putting two colors onto my block, just like that. And now I'm going to spritz it and really saturate those colors. Yeah, we want them nice and juicy. And oh, look at it sprayed on my paper. That looks kind of cool actually. And then we're going to stamp it onto our paper, just like that. Then I can use a wipe to clean my block off. And then we're gonna flip it and we're gonna do the same thing for the sky. I'm just gonna get some of this excess ink off. So now I'm bringing in my beloved pool party. Did you know at one time pool party was an in color? Isn't that funny to think about? That was the best year of my life that they brought in pool party. Made me very happy. Okay, so we've just given our pool party now a good spray. And now we're gonna line it up with the horizon that we've created. And we're gonna put that on like so. So essentially what we're creating is a, so a water scene with a sky. And again, look at how it just naturally creates the look of atmosphere and sky and clouds. I just love that. Okay, we're gonna set this aside to dry. And now I'm bringing in a little technique I wanted to share with you with the Stamparatus. So I am using the stamp set Let's Sail and it's from the mini catalog. And I have, uh, I want to punch out the sailboat so what I'm going to do is bring in a scrap piece of paper. I'm going to use the punch. I'm just going to stick that in like so. And then I'm going to layer this onto my Stamparatus like that. And the magnets just to hold it in place. Now I have my sails, these little, um, uh, photopolymer stamps and I'm going to stick it into the little pu puzzle piece I've created 
and this one's gonna go here like this. So we're just lining it up with the hole we've created. Now I'm going to shut the door and pick those up. This can come out. And now I'm going to bring in a piece of basic white and I'm using Poppy Parade as my color. I'm going to ink up, can you guys see? Ink up the sails. And I usually like to keep a white handy and I just sort of clean off any of the excess ink just so I don't accidentally transfer it. And now we're going to shut the door. And now we have our sails. Okay, so let me put this aside and bring back in my punch. So now you can see I've got it perfectly lined up for my sailboat to be punched out in one shot. Helps you save paper that way too. Okay, next we're gonna bring this back. I'm gonna use my heat tool and just speed up the drying a little bit. Just so that we can uh, not sit here forever. I'm gonna flip it over, make sure both sides are dry. And even though I have that great sky texture, I wanted to add a little bit more. So I'm bringing in a very unorthodox stamp set to be able to create a sky. I'm using the Artistically Inked from the annual catalog, and I'm bringing in this stamp here. So with the pool party, the same color I made the sky with, I'm going to ink that up, and I'm going to stamp. I'm gonna flip it over, over here. And then maybe like a little bit up here, just like that. So we create that look of like thunderous clouds coming in on the horizon. So let me show you how to put together the um, sailboat. So I'm going to use mini glue dots for this and I'm going to pick up those mini glue dots onto the boat and then also onto the little flag part and just kind of fold back any of the glue that you don't want to see. And we're going to stick that onto our water and then use dimensionals to line it up with the boat. So now we've got our little sailboat in the background. Okay, let me show you the finished project. So here we have our little sailboat. I added a star from the fan collection. And I brought in some vellum and just kind of roughed it up with my scissors to sort of make it look, I don't know, like sort of like waves, you know, it just kind of looks like it's um, like a little bit rough, you know? And then here is my favorite beautiful shapes um, die cut. Oh, thank you for the hearts, my friends. Awesome, I love that you love that. Okay, let's move on to the final project. I'm actually just gonna clean my paper here. Um, so this one is fun because we're creating a full background. So I'm gonna bring in my e-block. So like I said, e-block is one of my favorites. Just moving some of my stuff over here. Okay. So. We are going to start by creating um, just a little bit of a um, texture. I'm gonna start on the one side with the granny apple green. And so we're going to ink up the one side with that. And then we are using the, what color's next? Oh yeah, Misty Moonlight. I already have it here. So this one, I'm just gonna use the edge of it to kind of tap it and you kind of want to be careful not to touch the two inks together so we don't tra transfer those inks onto our ink pad. And then I'm also going to use Coastal Cabana because you know, I love Coastal Cabana too. Okay, so there's the three colors. Now we are going to spray, spray, spray like that and figure out where I put my background sheet. Did I really? I must have used it. Okay, give me two seconds. Sorry, 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 sorry. You guys are so patient. I love you so much. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, is it Friday? It is Friday. Yeah, let's, let's just celebrate that it's Friday for a second. Why don't you guys tell me what the one thing you are sad to see go out of our annual catalog? I'm sure you've all gone to the website. Here we go. And looked at it. Okay, so we've got our little colors here and they're all saturated. And then I'm going to bring in my wink of Stella. So I'm going to plop some color on top of my beautiful background that I've created here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to bring in my basic white and we're gonna flip this bad boy over and squish it down, just like that. Woo! Cleaning off my block. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Okay, now we're gonna finish off and create a card. So I'm bringing in the stamp set, Whale Done. This one I believe is carrying over in the annual catalog. This is definitely one of my favorite underwater stamp sets. I'm going to use my um, little LJ stamp here. We're gonna stamp that around the edges. and then bring in the little one and just kind of fill in some on the bottom. Beautiful. Okay. Then I'm going to bring in my jellyfish stamp. We're going to use that misty moonlight and we're going to stamp this guy up in the corner like so. And then we have our little fish and I'm bringing in polished pink and we're going to stamp that here. And we're going to bring in the little coral and we're going to stamp that here. And then I also have these cute little dots and we're going to use the misty moonlight and we're just going to kind of give the fish and some of the algae some little dots. And then the final step is to add the greeting and I just love this greeting. My love for you is bigger than the ocean. So we're going to stamp that right in the center of our little ocean scene that we've created. Okay, let me show you the finished project. So here I've mounted it onto Misty Moonlight and I've added the blues foil paper from the ocean promotion. <laughs> um, so this one here is the, um, just like gives you that little bit of shimmer and that special magic in the background kind of a PYP, right? Yeah, can you see the shimmer there? Okay, let me show you the three projects again. So we've got our beautiful ocean background. We have our sailboat with the water, and then we have our little brick wall. So if you're thinking to yourself, Lindsay, why don't I have these products? Be sure to go to my online store, and then you can shop to your heart's content. Any orders over $60 before the shipping and tax automatically receive a class in the mail for free from me. And all you need is some basic adhesive supplies, a greeting set, and a neutral ink pad of your choice. Okay, I'm just gonna flip you around for one sec. Okay, hello friends. Yeah, I don't know if you saw, but my two service dogs in training are, are no longer in training. They are officially placed as service dogs. Both of them are working. Um, in facility placements, um, both in kind of a victim services unit kind of a capacity. And it's really exciting to be able to see them move on. Of course, it's been a very sad week for me because we love the dogs as if they're our own. You need to in order for them to thrive and be successful and move on to do the things they need to do. But it, you know, it's still sad for me, <laughs> but I'm very happy that they have their placements and are doing so, so well. Um, yeah, and I actually have exciting news. I'm heading to Hawaii tomorrow to go visit my friend Cindy. Um, so I am looking forward to having a little bit of sunshine in my world. So thank you everyone for tuning in today. Happy Friday. I hope you have an amazing week. And uh, yeah, we'll chat soon. Bye for now. Inky thumbs. <laughs>